data cabinets. What's included? Out of the box, three types, 27, 36, and 42U. You can easily create another type. Simply go edit type, duplicate and say custom. Change its size to whatever you want. 800 mil deep. You see it has changed depth. Label, I don't know, let's put 32, whatever that type might be. Every different manufacturer would have a different size. Label automatically changes. Clearance to the front, 800. Back, 800. Right hand side, 500. Happy days. And clearance to the top, 500. Happy days. Likewise here, clearance to the left, 200. That's how it works. Clearance, top, left hand side, right hand side, front and back. Fully adjustable, visibility driven by size. If I change the size to zero, it will not break the family. It will just disappear from view. Parametric symbol annotation. It reads subtype, type, rating and mounting height if you wanted to. This cabinet is mounted 50 mil off the floor. Look, that's to allow for casters. Change its mounting height to zero. Look, mounting height zero. I can report mounting height or not. Look, now you've got type, subtype and rating. If I switch off subtype, disappears. Switch off rating, disappears. Now I've got type. If I switch off type, it disappears. If I go subtype, it will be just subtype. Full control of visibility. Parametric size, parametrically driven mounting height. The symbol can be also offset. Let's go minus 15. Fully adjustable position of the label in four directions. Adjustable size, edit type, height, 1500, apply. Look, depth, 600, width, 600. Let's do 600 by 600 by 600. A cube, you see, you can do any box. Change colors, also parametrically driven. That's controlled by material parameters, white. You see, go back to black, and now the cabinet is black again. Color control, dynamic, clearance zone control, parametric labels, four-way offset of labels, pre-populated with copy data, control visibility, so what's the height now? Slab to slab, 3680, right? My cabinet to the top, 650. If I go to my plan view and change view range, I'm only gonna view the region between one meter above the finished floor level up to two meters disappeared. If I extend the model line to the ceiling and change the ceiling to 3600. So this is my model line. If I switch it off, go to plan, it disappears. If I turn it on, it shows because it's driven by the visibility of that extent to floor line. Visit projectdesign.io slash resources to view the full range. Thank you very much for watching.